Welcome to Fairbanks, Alaska. Got a really awesome bird here today. Something a little different than what you normally see. This is a bird that people come thousand miles to try and see. They're very secretive, difficult to find. They're one of our smaller owls. It's not the smallest owl that we get in North America. This one's a little bit larger. This is a boreal owl. One of our nice boreal specialists here. So this bird's plumage is a little bit different. We have nice chocolate brown all over. These nice white facial arcs and a nice spotting. As an adult, these facial discs will become nice and white and the back and the head will become this nice kind of slaty blue gray with speckles and the chest will have those nice streaks of green and rusty brown. Boreal owls exhibit the largest sexual dimorphism for North American owls. The females are substantially larger than the male. Typical clutch size is between three and six. This clutch that this bird came from is five. They incubate for about 29 days and then they stay in the nest for about another 36, depending. Their diet consists mainly of microtene rodents, so there's things like voles. They're also known to take insects and other birds. Tough little creature here. So this bird's a fledgling, it's still in the box. If you find a fledgling bird, boreal owl or not, it's best to leave it be. They go through a period where they're out in the box and they look helpless, but they're not. If you're concerned about the safety, you can put the bird on a nearby branch or maybe in the nest if you see it, but it's best to leave it alone. The parent's probably nearby waiting for you to go away. And if you're concerned, you can always call somebody like Alaska Department of Fishing Game or a local rehabber if you have questions about the particular situation. Really cool bird here. We're gonna return them and maybe we'll catch it again. Find out how it's doing later on. Thanks for tuning in.